Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can install an admin template in Laravel using a command line. So we're going to install this admin template in our Laravel project. So this admin template is really great. There is light mode, dark mode. You can even change the color of the text. Uh, here you can see the color changed here. If I choose different color, the color will change. As so this is a really great admin template. And I'm going to show you how you can install this admin template in your Laravel project. First of all, uh, let's go and create a first Laravel project. So I'm going to create my Laravel project over here. So let's just say here CMD. So let's say here Laravel new and let's say our project name will be Laravel template trace center. So it will create a first Laravel project. So right now I'll just fast forward the video. So the project creation is complete. So let's go to the project directory. Let's say here CD Laravel template. Press enter. So let's run the project PHP artisan serve. So let me just copy this and let's go to a browser. Let's just paste this over here. Press enter. So this is our created Laravel project. So right now, before we install the admin template, we need to make the authentication. So let me just show you a few command over here. So uh, first of all, we need to make the authentication, then uh, using this command, we'll be able to install the admin template. So right now, let's just copy this command, composer record laravel slash ui. So we'll copy this, then we'll go to our project directory. Uh, let me just put to the project directory. This is our project. Let's just go inside. Let's say here our CMD. And let me just zoom in. And here we're going to paste the command, composer record laravel slash ui and press enter. So after this command, we are going to run this command composer require laravel frontend preset slash ergon. Ergon is the template name. So we'll just copy this, then we'll just paste the composer require laravel frontend preset slash ergon. Then we we'll just press enter. So it will install the ergon admin template in our laravel project. So this will take some time. So I'll just fast forward the video. So here you can see the aircon admin template is installed. So after that, we need to run this command PSP addition UI aircon. So let's just copy this. Then we are going to paste this here and then press enter. So it will install the UI design for aircon. So here you can see aircon scaffolding installed successful. And this may take some time, like 30 to 1 minute. Okay, so after this command, we need to run this command composer term autoload. So let me just copy this composer term autoload, then paste the command here, press enter, and composer term autoload is also done. So this is the last command, please variation migrate fresh seed. So we'll copy this command, then we'll go to command prompt, paste the command, please variation migrate fresh seed, press enter. So it will Okay, let me just see. Okay, unknown database. Okay, let's just go and create a database over here. Let's go to our XAMPP, PCY admin. And here we are going to create a database. So our database name is by default will be Laravel template because this is a project name, but let's just open the project. It was in local list F and the project name is Laravel template, this one. Let's just select it. And uh, if we now just go to the .env file and here you can see the database name is by default Laravel template. So I'll just copy this and click new here. Then paste the database name, click create and there you go, database is created. Here you can see Laravel template. So right now let's run the command again. Uh, paste addition migrate, press set, press enter. And there you can see table is migrated. So right now if we just refresh here, here you can see it automatically uh, take us to the login dashboard because uh, when we install the package uh, largon package argon it uh, makes some changes in our code so let me just show you the changes so right now if we just go to resource then views here you can see there is some pages uh, created over here by default and if you go to routes then web.php there you can see there is some routes mentioned over here so right now let's go and log in. Uh, so, so there you can see by default it gives us a admin username and password. So right now if we just go to our table, here you can see admin template and then the user table. There you can see by default it automatically create a admin email and password here as you can see. So right now what we need to do is that we just click sign in here and it will take us to the admin dashboard. 
as you can see so right now if you want to change the design you can do that here you can see the setting option uh next to logout here you can see setting option then you can see light and dark mode nav bar fixed you can fix the nav bar and here you can see side nav between if you click dark it will be dark if you click white it will be white and you can even give a certain color for the text so let's just keep it dark you can modify everything from here you can also remove those options from here so right now uh, let me just show you let's just first log out from here let's try to just sign up here we'll click log out and then it will take us to this space and here you can see sign up and sign in option so if i click sign in it will obviously take us to this space and if i click sign up so right now here we'll just give a username let's say yamin at the rate of gmail.com and let's give the password on two three four five six seven eight i agree with the terms and click sign up and there you go it to goes to the admin dashboard and what if we give a wrong username and wrong password let's just try with this one gmail.com click sign in and there you go uh, the provided credentials do not match so you can remove everything from here you can uh, modify the design it's just give us admin dashboard that we can just install so right now there is one more issue let me show you if i just remove the slash login from here and if you want to go to the welcome page press enter it, it will always automatically take us to the login page so if we do not on that then what you can do is that here we'll go to our routes then web.php here uh you can see that for the slash it will automatically call the dashboard function and if the user is not logged in then it will take the user to the login page so here instead of slash uh we are going to say here dashboard press enter so right now we'll be able to go to the welcome view so let's just refresh here and let me just remove the slash login press enter and there you can see we are able to come over here so let's try to log in sign in and there you go okay it took us to the home page so what we are going to do is that here is of dashboard let's just say here home save so whenever the home function is called it will take us to the dashboard so here let's just refresh and right now if you click home it will take us to the dashboard and here you can see every design over here user management table feelings this uh, all the design uh, you can see so you can modify everything this is just a template that you are able to install using a command line without any hassle so this is all you will get uh, this is not like a do every code operation for you but the template is really nice so if you like this template then you can try to install this template in your laravel project using command line so if i get um, more positive response from the comment section then i will show you how you can install other admin template in laravel using command line so this is a simple tutorial file i showed how you can install an admin template in laravel so if you want to install a complete admin template with the core operation then you can check out the video on the screen so thank you very much for watching i hope you like this video and if you have any question or if you have any suggestion for me what kind of tutorial i should make in the future then let me know in the comment section thanks again for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials